of people have been demonstrating in Belfast over the recent spate of job losses around the city. We can cross now to our island correspondent, Mark Simpson, who's there for us. And uh, what's going on there now, Mark? It isn't a massive rally, but it's very noisy, as you can hear. And the whole of Belfast city centre has come to a standstill. Over the years, this is where there have been peace rallies. Today, it's very much an economic rally. Two types of people here, a couple of hundred people in total, people who have already lost their jobs and people who are fearful that they could be next. In fact, a couple of dozen people over here are from a car plants factory in West Belfast. They lost their jobs three weeks ago. They're sitting in in the factory. They're refusing to go home until they get a better redundancy deal. They have come down here to protest, asking the government to do more to help them. And there's another group here you can see in the blue fleeces. They're bus drivers. They're scared they could be next. It's been the private sector which has been hit the hardest here in Northern Ireland, but the public sector, they're scared they could be next. Mark, will this rally change anyone's mind, make any difference? Well, the people here won't like me saying this, but let's be realistic. Is a chief executive thinking of making 100 people redundant, going to look at these TV pictures and think, oh no, I'll just keep those people on? I don't think that's likely to happen, but these people are pretty desperate. It's a desperate plea for help at what are pretty hard times on the economic front here in Belfast. Mark, thanks very much. Mark Simpson in Belfast there. In Thailand, a leading...